going to do something fun but we'll see, hopefully that you the concept will come out okay so today <laughs> we're going to talk about love is blind so it's a real popular show that's yeah. been on netflix yeah and um the reunion was showed um thursday just gone so um i as i've already declared i am a self proclaimed telly addict yeah. so i was flicking through netflix and then this thing came up saying love is blind i was like Okay, let me just watch it, see what the concept is. So the concept behind the show is basically yeah. um, there was a group of men and a group of women mm -hmm. that had signed up to an experiment to test whether love is blind. Yeah. So they basically were put in these pods mm -hmm. and they dated each other, but they never saw each other. They didn't know what each other looked like, what race they were, what age they were or anything, but they mm -hmm. could ask whatever questions they were. They wanted, sorry. And anyway... Cut a long story short, um, they, it was five couples that got engaged mm -hmm. um, and this, they got engaged from not seeing each other. Mm -hmm. um, so they basically fell in love after day two, day three, day four of talk, dating, yeah. um, not knowing each other. And then they, after they were pr proposed, after the man proposed to the woman, mm -hmm. then they met each other mm -hmm. um, afterwards. And when they met each other, it was like they've known each other for years. They embraced each other. They kissed. It was like... Mm, they hadn't seen each love. other for like someone had gone on holiday and then they were at the airport and then they embraced yeah. each other and they were just so much in love yeah um then they were then salt had to go to mexico for i think five days mm. i think it was and then after that they went back to atlanta and lived with each other unfortunately there was two a couple that didn't make it because um there were some issues with that but you know if you want to watch it it's there i'm not going to go into it because my my question is is love really blind and from watching this series and for me it is totally groundbreaking i know i said i was studying for a master's but yeah i find this really groundbreaking that love is blind yeah. because out of this the five couples two got married yeah. and my favorite couple and i think it's everybody's favorite couple is cameron lauren and the reason they are my favorite is because they literally did fall mm. in love with each other when you see them together they are glowing love i don't know what that looks like but i would say looking at love is looking at cameron and lauren yeah. and they make me happy well you see i don't think <laughs> love is blind okay <laughs> after all <laughs> <I am. laughs> no i don't think love is blind the reason is again these people fell in love without seeing each other yeah. but the attraction yeah when they saw each other, especially one of the girls, what's her name again? Jessica. Jessica, yeah, that's yeah. true. Regardless of the, her feelings for whoever, uh, Mark, because they didn't see each other, they had um, this feeling going on like... But can I just stop here? Jessica no. went with um, Mark because she got rejected by and the, Barnett. Exactly, yes, and the So it was second choice. It was the second choice, but she had a bit of feeling for him. And that's why... I she don't went, think it was real. No, well, that's what she said. She had feeling she loved the guy, <laughs> but the attraction <laughs> was not there. And, I'll put myself into the same situation. If I get to know a guy, I'm talking to them, you know, it's good to know them from the inner side instead of just looking at the face value. But if I'm not attracted to you, I don't think I'll fall in love with you. Yeah, but this program is showing you that you don't need to see somebody to fall in love with them. them. Exactly. And I don't yeah. think Jessica yeah. and Mark is a good situation because Mark accepted Jessica based on the fact of a, of a, a saying that if you let go of love, if you love someone, yeah, let it yeah. go. If it comes yeah. back, it's yours. If it doesn't, because she rejected Mark. Yeah, yeah. And then because she got rejected by Barnett, yeah. then she went back to Mark. But, so Mark yeah. was living on that saying, saying, if you love someone, yeah, let him yeah. go back. But, but is, is this love or lust? It's not, it's love because you don't see it, but you can't lust someone's personality. Yeah. So in terms of what Veronica is saying that mm -hmm. she don't think it's blind, I think it's more of a superficial yeah. element. Yeah. So you're just fixated on not the content yeah. or the context of the individual. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. So you're more looking to say, no, I cannot love somebody until I see what they look like. No, Is that's, that what that's, you're no, no, that's not. That's not. For example, I'm putting myself again. I was lit. I was talking to this guy, yeah, for two years. Yeah, without even seeing them. Let's okay. to the guy. How did you meet him then? Hold Just on, curious. Let me, let me finish. <laughs> so, <laughs> we met on a what's that thing called again? Tag girl, sorry, wasn't it? No, no, it's some old stuff. I've forgotten. High five. High five. Oh, high five. oh my oh, god, you got way around. High five. Yeah, and yeah. I, you know, I saw the photo and everything, <laughs> but it wasn't like. Yeah, pictures are, yeah. it could be anyone. Who was that? But hold on, let me finish. <laughs> <laughs> so I was chatting to this guy for two good years and I got to have feelings for them because whatever they were telling me, I liked. Yeah. You know, we had so many things in common. So, but if the fact is, when I got to meet them, even though I had that feeling, at the same time, I was like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Happen. Because the attraction was in there, oh, you know. Wow. Sometimes that can overshadow. That no, sometimes that can overshadow things. I'm telling you the oh. truth. You might fall for their personality and everything, but when you see the face every morning, you're like, "What the hell am I with this guy?" <laughs> <laughs> no, it's anyway. The truth. So I don't think love is blind. I I, mean, I, I, I think. think no, I'm sorry. To, it's to, not. to be honest, for me, of of after seeing that episode, and yeah. I think it's like. If you fall in love with the actual true being mm-hmm. of that person by getting to know them, I think looks um, is, is is less important. It is. It right? Is it's less, less important. important. It's like about, the attraction. Yeah, it's, not about, it's not just about looks. But the thing, thing, looks. But the thing physical, is, attraction but the thing then. is, not what I'm saying, because mm-hmm. if we're uh, talking about if love is blind and yeah. if you actually have met somebody from that social experiment, because mm-hmm. it's a social experiment. Yes. Yeah. And um, basically, we've got we've had two successful people mm. who have actually managed mm. to find love and walk down the aisle, yeah. right, within a very short period of time. And they, sorry to interject, but they have been now married for over eighteen months. Exactly, and they were attracted to each other, by the way. So there was some attraction there. Yes, but it, it's yeah. begun from the mind. Yes, yes, right. So, it's yeah. begun from there. Yeah. So it wasn't a case where they literally saw a picture of yeah. that individual and had an image in their mm-hmm. head. Yeah. Their image was based on what they sound like, mm. what they, did they share similar values exactly. yeah. or similar beliefs, yeah. etc. cetera. So yeah. to put you again, and another thing that they did yeah. say was that they felt, because they, they didn't see them, yeah. they were able to be more open. Yeah. Yeah. So there was no reservation yeah. in what yeah. they yeah. said. So they didn't yeah. feel like they were being judged or anything. Yeah. So there's really open and honest and that's why there was a couple yeah. that didn't make it because there was one little well mm. it was a little well, it was quite major something. he hid something yeah. from yeah. her yeah. and then when they went to mexico he revealed it and she felt mm. like oh my gosh you've told me all yeah. of this didn't but he it. didn't tell yeah. me that so why was that not important at that mm. point so so yeah so then do you both feel that it's easier to communicate with somebody when he is actually when behind when you can't see them yeah. It, yeah. For you to be more of yourself rather than if you see somebody mm-hmm. and know what they're... You know, sometimes when you go on a date in the past, you mm-hmm. know, you'd be on dates and then you're watching and gauging what the person the is reaction. saying mm-hmm. and the reactions. Mm-hmm. When you're saying something, you're actually looking at their yeah. facial expression yeah. Yeah. to say, oh, did I actually say something mm-hmm. or I'd better hold back mm-hmm. because I don't know what they'll, yeah. you know, what mm-hmm. how they'll take it. But it's just like talking to someone on the phone. When yeah. you speak to someone on the phone, you're, you're more getting more open. Confident. You're telling them so many things, exactly. Yeah, yeah. But when you see them face to face, you're like, oh, then you, obviously you're mm-hmm. not able to be as open as. So know, I guess it comes back to losing yeah. your inhibitions, really. Yeah. Are we judgmental as human beings? Are we looking yeah. at aesthetic mm-hmm. purposes yeah. before we actually see the, the actual, the actual person? person? Yeah. So I think that's the question. But I, th- I think that's what that social experiment mm-hmm. was trying to prove that love is blind yeah and all the contestants say i know you've not seen the reunion but when they did ask yeah. them even the ones that didn't get married they did agree that love mm-hmm. is blind because initially they did fall in love with them yeah. and they do say that that was their ex-fiance they don't think of them as yeah. oh i was on this program yeah. and yeah. it's over yeah, they say i was engaged at one point well, because they did fall. Anyway. yeah and but it just makes different. it makes me think like yeah. you know because I, I i believe in love Mm-hmm. And now the question is: Is love blind? I do believe it is yeah. by watching this program. Um, but then, w- where do you go with that? Do we all need yeah. to go on a social experiment to 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 find love? Yeah. Or do we just need to be open? Yeah. 
instead of being closed mm. so when you meet somebody it's just not looking at the superficial element to it okay. and getting to the core mm. to understand where that person is coming from and just being open mm. and sometimes it's that vulnerability that i think yeah. we, we we hold on to because we don't want to release that so when we don't release that vulnerability, we're not staying true to ourselves. Yeah, we're not exactly. showing the true us. So that means that individual is also sensing that. Yeah. So they're not going to necessarily let their guard down because yeah. they don't know where it's you're coming from. Yeah. So is in a fact, is it really blind? Maybe not, but it's just how, how our really approach mm -hmm. to it when we meet somebody yeah. are what are we holding back? Mm. It, and sometimes know, that character. is a thing yeah. yeah the character is the main it's very very important because beauty mm. can you know anything can happen to beauty and then when but beauty is not there in the, the character eye is the holder as well yeah. exactly mm. so yeah, yeah. so yeah. personally love can be what you want it to be that's yeah. in my opinion mm. and instead of us holding on to this image of what we think prince charming or no, Disney's not done or, as well. Yeah, in terms of Disney, <laughs> what it's supposed to be and happily mm. ever after. What is that for you? What is your core value? And does that person I resonate see. that with you? Mm, and yeah. it doesn't matter how they look, but it's a matter of getting to the core, right? And staying true to yourself. Yeah. And it's not about people and it's not about what you think your friends will will think, will, yeah. will think of or yeah. your partner looks mm. this way or whatever. But it's do they share that mindset? Mm. And that is the key, is the thought of sharing because you need to be able to have somebody that resonates with you. Yeah. And if it begins from the social experiment, and that is where I think that it actually was able to work mm. because they were really, really focusing on value yeah. and not yeah. just... Not, yeah, it's the value right. they mm. were focusing on from my... Yeah. Um, analysis of, of, of the program is what value can this person add to my life mm, yeah right and it's not about how they look because i don't know they didn't know how they looked no, initially they but it's like can i see myself having conversations can i see myself mm. laughing with this person <coughs> having fun and yeah. that is the core of it yeah. and they did mention quite a few yeah. times that they had so many things in common, common with that yeah. person yeah. so yeah that's true but in my eye there have to be an attraction because if, I, if I'm not attracted to you, I don't think it will go far. The character, it's not it's not about the way the person looks, yeah. but there should be attraction. An attraction, yeah. yeah. That's what I mean. Yeah, it's it's yeah. not about the so yeah. But to an extent, so, with women, we are more mindset driven. Mm. Would you not agree? Yeah. Than initially, because if you're if you're not in the right space mentally, there's not going to be any attraction yeah. mm, anyway. Yeah. And that starts from the mind. That mm. starts from the conversations, that the intellectual conversations are mm. how intellectually driven you want it to mm. be. And does that person share that and resonate that sort of conversation to get that mind stimulated? Yeah. Whereas from a male, I presume, because I'm not a male, but I've been told that they tend to be more visual. Yeah. Right? But for us, we tend to be more intellectually yeah. driven. Mm. So in terms of what you're saying, then... To be honest, it doesn't really hold. So, Nadia, are you going to <laughs> okay, so me. tell me, are you going to be dating somebody because you like their character, but you're not attracted to them? Is that what you're telling me? I haven't been in the social experiment for starters. Yeah, but, but what she's saying, no, what what she's saying, saying is that. However, yeah. I tend to go for the mindset. I tend mm -hmm. to go for the mindset is do I actually, does this person share similar values and character yeah. to me? Do I see myself with this person in yeah. the future? And it doesn't necessarily resonate with how they look. Mm. Yes, no, I it's agree. Not about how they yes, look. I, I agree. Yes, I agree. Initially, about attraction. Initially, attraction. Yeah. It's not about how the person yes, looks. Initially, yeah. in order for me to have that conversation, then yeah. there's an element of a physical attraction. To exactly. It. That's what it, it, does, it doesn't necessarily need to but, be physical. But, but there should be, be something um, like, oh, like no. There's. Whether or not they have charismatic mm -hmm. or, or whether they're charismatic yeah. or, you know, I've met them through whatever mm -hmm. um, medium yeah. is, is an element of attraction. Sometimes, the interestingly enough, sometimes I, I'll probably be attracted to people months later from meeting them. But mm -hmm. it's a matter of getting to know the person, okay. getting to know their values yeah. Or, yeah. or does it actually resonate with me? So I'm more of a mental 
Okay, element so again but, that's yeah. where we're very different yeah. Yeah. yeah because for me when i see you first time there should be some attraction if there's no attraction yeah. i don't think it's going to work even in 10 years time the, no, that's what I mean. some people fall in love immediately some don't fall in love until maybe a year in a relationship yeah that's mm -hmm. when they do fall in love yeah. i fall in love very quickly and if there's no love now it's not going to work in the future mm. so yeah uh, you know you're right everyone is different yes um but yeah the question is is love is blind yeah. i think love is blind i don't think love is blind <laughs> <laughs> do you think love is blind or are you in the middle there's either yes or no i don't think there's a middle ground with this one but so love can think, be blind what i would suggest is that yeah. watch, watch the, the program, program. <laughs> and then you know we could obviously do a part two if required watch the program and then maybe but you've made really good points even though you haven't seen it yeah. so yeah but yeah so, so they can tell us yeah love is, is love blind comment below and let us know no. okay thank you for watching and listening um don't forget to subscribe yeah. share and like our pages yeah. thank you thank you remember fly, fly with us, us. First, first love yourself, yourself. bye, bye.